Hello! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be showing you how to get this look. It literally takes 15 minutes and it's super easy and you can wear it every single day no matter where you're going. So if you're new to makeup or you just don't really know what to do for an everyday look, then this video is for you. So if you want to know how to get this makeup look right here, then keep watching. Okay, so to begin, no matter what I do, whether it's a very simple makeup look or like full glam, I always begin by spraying my face with this primer. It's called MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is what it looks like, the bottle. Um, you can get this anywhere that sells MAC Cosmetics, so um, I usually get mine from Ulta or we have a MAC Cosmetics in... Our Macy's at my mall so first I go in with this and I spray my whole face and then I just pat it into my skin because it makes it kind of um, like sticky so the makeup is gonna stick to your face and I already put on moisturizer after I wash my face so this is going on top of your moisturizer or um, just on like your clean face. Okay, after you've like pressed it into your skin, you can feel that it's kind of like tacky almost. And then just like let it sit for a few seconds. And then I am gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is what the bottle looks like. And I am shade light medium. And you can get this concealer. I get mine from Ulta. Or you can get it from Tarte's website. But I think that they only sell it exclusively through their own website or Ulta. Like they don't have it at Sephora or anything. So you're gonna have to go to Ulta to get it if you wanna buy it like in person. And so what I'm gonna do with the concealer is I'm gonna go in right under my eyes. And this is a full coverage concealer. So it's gonna cover up um, your dark circles most likely. It covers up mine. I put it like a little bit on my forehead, down my nose and then a little bit on my chin. And then I also put it like around my nose right here because I usually get like kind of oily there. And then you can also spot conceal any um, like zits that you have. So I think that I have one like right there, and then one right there. Ready. All right, so after you have your concealer on your face, you're gonna go in with whatever kind of brush that you use to blend your makeup out. I always use a makeup Sponge, like a wedge some people use beauty blenders some people use brushes some people just use their fingers um, I like to use a wedge and I just get these at like Walmart or CVS they're just literally like little spongy triangles yeah and then I go in with the short side because I blend my foundation with like the longer side so I go in with the shorter side for my concealer and I just Blend that out. And then when I'm blending, I always use like a pushing motion, like I'm pressing it into my skin. I put it on my eyelids. And when I'm blending it in, I don't like to like, like wipe it. I like to just like literally just like press it in and it kind of like melts into your skin and then it will have like a really nice finish because it's not going to finish like streaky. It's blended really nice. Okay, so now that my concealer is fully blended on my face, I'm gonna go in with a powder to set that concealer into place. Um, I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. You can get this at um, like any drugstore. I think Ulta carries it too. Mine is like running so low. It's just on the outside. So I need to get a new one soon. But I'm just gonna go in with a like big fluffy brush like this one this one is from like wet and wild 
um, and you're just gonna like rub it around and get the product onto the brush and then you're just gonna press it into your face just like how you blended so don't go in and like wipe it I always go in and I just like stipple my brush and I just press it in to the skin just like when we were blending and you're gonna put this all over so not just where you put the concealer but like cover your whole face with it okay so I zoomed it in a little bit more so that you guys could see better but I am gonna go in and do my brows now so for my eyebrows I use the Anastasia brow definer this is what it looks like and I'm in the shade medium brown the one end is a spoolie like this to brush out your brows and then the other end is like flat and angled it makes it really easy for you to put the product on your brow so first I'm gonna go in and just brush my brows out And I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Um, if you want a video of how to do brows, I could definitely do that for you. And as you're filling in your brows, you want to use the spoolie to like disperse the product throughout um, the little hairs Okay, one brow down one more to go All right, so now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go in and do some eyeshadow, but it's not actually eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer that I use, and this is just kind of a darker shade that I like to put on over my eyelids that makes it look kind of natural and not like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. This is the bronzer that I use. It's Hoola by Benefit. This is what it looks like on the inside, and I hit pan right there, so I am gonna need Hello, I'm gonna need to get a new one of these soon. I just go in with like a fluffy brush. Um, you could go in with literally any fluffy brush that you blend your eyeshadow with. I just kind of dip it in here. And since it's like almost, like it's my skin tone, but just a little bit darker, it's just gonna create like a really pretty shadow um, on my eye that makes it look really natural but also like it makes a difference but it doesn't necessarily look like you're wearing a ton of makeup i am gonna put it all over my eye and then blend it using windshield wiper motions and then like also little circular motions for this you can blend it almost all the way up to your eyebrow but only when you've already put like a lot of the product on your eyelid like once it's almost all the way off of your brush then you can like start blending it up towards your brow you don't want it to be super dark up next to your eyebrow you want that to be like the lightest point so um it's almost like an ombre effect of like darker on your eyelid and then it as it gets closer to your um, eyebrow it gets lighter All right, so right now we just have that first layer on our eyelids. So you're gonna go back and dip into that shade that you were using, and then you're gonna place it just right in the crease of your eyelid to make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay, so to finish off the eyeshadow part of this look, um, I'm gonna go in with this really tiny brush. I'm gonna pick up some product and then put it 
um, underneath my eyes. And this is just gonna tie your whole look together and make it look really pretty because underneath your eyes is gonna connect to the top of your eyes. And this is something that I literally can't not do. Like I have to do this every time that I do my makeup because it just makes so much more of a difference. All right, and then I go back in with that fluffy part of the brush and I just blend underneath a little bit to disperse that product just a little bit more and make it a little bit more natural. All right, so then my next step is going in with mascara. The mascara that I use is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and it looks like this. Um, I don't think that it always has rhinestones on it, but this one was um, limited edition, I think, so it does have the rhinestones. And then when I go in with my mascara, I always like to first go like up and coat them from underneath and then like start at the base and then go up and then um, I like to go and like do it on the back side of them and then go from the base outward. And this is like kind of pushing them downward. Like it looks a little bit weird at first, um, but trust me. So you're coating like the underneath and then above as well. All right, and then while that is getting a little bit tacky up top, I like to go in and do my bottom lashes and I just run the brush over the lashes. All right, and then I dip back into my mascara and I go from the bottom up again and get that other side of my lashes that we did the first time. This side of my face, like these lashes never want to cooperate. I feel like these ones are so easy to do and then I can never match these ones to this one. Okay, so at this point in time, you can absolutely be done with this look. I usually like to go in with some kind of chapstick or lip balm, sometimes a lip gloss. I am gonna go in with my favorite lip balm to use, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And using this, I feel like it just adds a little bit more to your lips. It's not like a lip gloss, but it's also not lipstick. Like it's clear and it's so soft and it just makes your lips feel really good and look really good. Um, and at this point, again, you can be completely finished, but if you want to, you can go in with a little bit of highlight. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit, and this is the sun dipped one. So on the inside, the shades look like this, and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of each of these, just mix them a little bit. And I'm gonna put this right above my eye and under my brow on my brow bone. And then I'm also going to put it in the corners of my eyes because it just adds a little bit of a pop. I feel like it honestly just makes like a really big difference and it takes two seconds. And for that, I just used a little flat brush that I got from like Amazon or something. And then I'm gonna take um, this Luxie brush and I'm gonna dip into those same two colors and I'm just gonna lay it very lightly on like the high points of my cheeks and a little bit on the tip of my nose and a little bit on my chin and upper lip. And like I said, this step is totally not necessary. You absolutely could have been done with this after the mascara. I just like to go in with it because I feel like it really makes a difference in the way that my face looks. And it's just super easy and quick to do. And then to finish off this look, I am just gonna go in with the MAC 
Fix Plus spray again and just lightly spray it on my face again to set it. And then I like to fan it because it is a little bit wet. All right, and that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you can use this in your everyday life. It's super quick, super easy, very basic products. You can use whatever products that you have at home. You absolutely do not need the ones that I mentioned, but those are my favorite ones that I use literally every day. I keep them in my makeup bag all the time. I do highly recommend those products, but you don't need them to recreate this look. So that is it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below any specific makeup videos that you want me to make for you, and I will definitely take those into consideration. Thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye.